Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, I was out in Cordillera Ranch in Bernie, Texas, showing somebody else a house. So, of course, while I'm out here, might as well do a follow up tour for a Casa de Main house that's being built in Cordillera Ranch. I absolutely love this community. It is pretty much the highest end Texas Hill Country community located just outside Bernie, Texas. Absolutely love it out here. And I think you're going to love this home. Let's go check it out. This is a big, beautiful home being built by Costa Domain for one of my clients. And I like to do these videos of multiple stages of the house being built. So my clients are out of state. I just got off the phone with them and they're super excited to see what this house looks like as of early July, 2023. They got a beautiful lot and they really have spared no expense on this beautiful home. And like I said, love the black metal roof and the finish that they put out here and uh yeah let's head on inside and check this home out um they are on what i consider the my preferred side of cordillera ranch the original side they have cordillera springs but i like this side just because the mud tax is already paid off so your property taxes are going to be a little bit less compared to the other side of the new part of cordillera ranch and the club is really fantastic. It's extra to live in the club at the club area, but uh, it's really neat. All right, let's head on inside. All right, I'm trying to do better now before I come in to make sure to remind folks, if you do like these videos I do, go ahead and hit that like button. I have noticed my viewership has definitely gone up since I started saying that, so please hit that like button uh, so my videos get a little more views. But the rock finish on this house is absolutely gorgeous. This is gonna be a really neat swing door. You can see it kind of behind the plastic right now, trying to keep it safe. But the sheetrock is up. They went with a super smooth finish, so you can't really see nothing but white. The paint just went up, but check out this house. I was telling my clients, I'd like to get a little drone and just fly it around in here because this place is huge. I'm like, wow, that goes up there high. And I was like, this is, this is just a really cool feeling of space. This side over here is going to be like your formal dining room. Over here is going to be your kitchen and uh, breakfast nook area. But let me get over here in the corner just so you can get a good look at how the space, the fireplace, and then just going up. That is super cool. So they got some highlights up there so uh you're never gonna have issue with enough lighting in here <clears throat> all right let's go and start on this side of the house because this house does have like a kind of like a mother-in-law suite that they're going to be building in this plan is based on the same plan casa de main is using as their model home in bell oaks except the diff one of the difference is my client's putting a door coming here entering into this wing for the mother-in-law suite type thing. The model home in Bell Oaks is the door can be a little further down. But what that does is give someone private access to this whole little wing back here. So this would be their entry door coming in. Let me pretend like I'm coming in. So they come in, have a closet right in front of them. And then you got what this is, a neat little living space they got the little vaulted ceiling here. They're gonna be putting a little wood beam up there too. So this would be a perfect little living room space. Gosh, my clients even put the electronic power outlet in the floor there. Place for the TV, so yeah, someone can have their own little living room space and bathroom. So I see that they put a, some slider doors in here, and wall slider doors. And you're gonna have your water closet or your toilet right there. Single vanity sink. And a really nice size shower, mud set, inset shower in here. And then another sliding door coming in here. Now when people do that, be aware this, there might be a little bit of wiggle in this wall just because when you're doing sliding doors, there's no way to really structure that to make it as solid as regular walls. So just be aware of that. That does feel pretty solid, but I do see they got the little braces right there for now. All right, this could be the mother-in-law suite bedroom. So they'll have their own private space in here. 
with a good sized closet, really good sized closet. So yeah, if someone's wanted to live in here, that'd be perfect to have your own little living room space, bathroom space, bedroom space, and completely separate from the rest of the house. So let's go back down the hallway to the rest of the house. One of the trades guys just came here, so if you, that's what the noise is for. So if they want to interact with the rest of the house, they can open the door, and now we're in the rest of the house, which will have yet another bedroom right on this side of the hallway. And I want to point out, one of the things Casa Domain does is put the spray foam insulation in there. I hope the GoPro's picking up. But they put a lot of spray foam in the attic there. So this place ends up being like an igloo. Um, very, very energy efficient. They put the spray foam on all the exterior walls as well. So this is gonna be bedroom. I have no idea why there's rock in here, but that's the rock for the exterior. But a good sized closet in this house. I mean, in this room, let's see if I can show the finish a little better. Kind of difficult to see, but it's, it's smooth and white. All right. These are going to be the two bedrooms open to the rest of the main house. You see, we got dual vanities coming in here. Some light setups. But this is going to have a mud, I mean, a tub and shower combo. Still with the sliding doors. And this is going to be the water. No, 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 yeah, there's the water closet spot right there. And then coming into this bedroom. Now, it looks like Casa Domain is fixing something. This was supposed to be extended out a little further. That's why you see this not closed up. The spray foam has been pulled out. So they're going to do some little work on this room to get it as the plans are supposed to be. Because sometimes builders don't do everything perfect. That's why you have uh, people do videos of your house while it's during the construction phase. So especially if you're out of town to point out, hey, per Jason Payne's video, this doesn't look like it's done right. All right, let's come in here. I really like this aspect of the house. They've got uh, kind of a game room set up. So it's gonna be really neat once again. No idea why there's rocks there, but they're gonna have some, uh, there's gonna be a wood beam coming in. They're finishing that out. It's so getting pre-wired for some TVs and entertainment stuff. So this could be your theater room, game room, whatever you want. We got the main hub for all the electrical stuff coming into this closet. You see the wires in there. And then we got its own bathroom kind of right around the corner. So that you got your vanity and then a mud inset shower here. My clients do plan to put a pool in. So this is gonna be perfect spot for coming through this door that just got framed out. See, they still got some more work, but this is gonna be a really neat black uh, metal door opening up but they got the plastic wrap and cardboard all protecting it to the patio and coming inside that area. Speaking of patio, let's go look at it right now. More beams up there that's in the process of being done. But yeah, let's check out this patio. They went with the upgraded uh, black trim on all the windows and doors. Love the look of this patio. Building a house is messy, so disregard all of this. It will be cleaned up before finished. Let's we'll see, we got some more stucco work still to do there. But last time I videoed this, there were, they were putting this uh, trim ceiling in, the tongue and groove stuff. But yeah, this, it got a really cool lot. Pies out and gets wider in the back. Tons of privacy back here. But right now this is at my eye level. And they're also getting a little pool house put in. So then they're gonna build this really neat little deck back here uh, per my client. It's gonna be like a two foot, two steps down and all this is gonna be pool decking. So super excited to see what this looks like. And you look through the trees back there and you can just really look over the Texas Hill Country. 
just really nice. Stonework is in. You've got more place if you want to sit or walk down because that goes to the master bedroom and we'll be there real soon. Let's make our way back inside and there's that door leading to that bathroom. And yet another door going into the kitchen area if you don't want to open up these sliders. All right, coming back in, let's talk about this kitchen. This is going to be a beautiful sized kitchen. It's going to have uh, your oven cooktop stuff here. On that side of the wall, you're going to have your sink. There's going to be a really nice sized island right here. You see the power coming to this where the island's at. And uh, nice views of the patio area right from the kitchen. You see where they got the sink with the view from the sink looking out over the Texas Hill Country. And then more stuff coming back here. Lots of cabinet space. And then also the pantry. Check out the size of this pantry. We don't have any lights on it yet, but this is gonna be a massive pantry back there. Super cool. Coming back around through the kitchen area. Oh, don't wanna walk into that big giant island that's gonna be there. Now we're gonna look at the master bedroom wing. Before we go all the way into this, it's gonna be neat. They got their little space back there for almost a little mini apartment for the master bedroom. But I wanna show off the garage first. <clears throat> this is gonna be a really big three car garage. Two water heaters are gonna be right here eventually. Both plumb for the water softener but they've painted the whole garage as well, so that's why you see nothing but white. But yeah, this is gonna be a big, beautiful garage. Of course, neighbors are doing yard work. But uh, they got the stonework in. Yeah, I see the guys out there mowing and blowing off the leaves there, but beautiful stonework done by Casa Domain. We got a little cedar sides for the garage and looks like a little doorway coming in so you don't have to open up the garage door all the way to get into your garage all right now on to the master bedroom suite this is going to be the laundry room but we'll look at that in just a little bit because there's going to be a door here just picture opening up the door and now you're coming into the master bedroom suite side of the house Turn the corner, and here comes what's gonna be a gorgeous master bedroom bath with a beautiful uh, soaking tub right there. Gonna have a his, uh, and one vanity here, one vanity on this side. But I wanna finish showing off this after I show off the bedroom. Okay, I wanna leave that closet for last. But beautiful bedroom. Kind of got a little A-frame ceiling going on. Lots and lots of can lighting up here. And a really good sized bedroom with a view of what's gonna eventually be the pool house. Coming in, this is what it looks like as they got the foundation going as of early July, 2023. So this is gonna be super nice. And then a door leading once again out to the patio area and the pool. All right, now we're gonna go in the bathroom. So I can show off some of this stuff. The shower is gonna be a really nice size mud inset shower. See, they're gonna be taking the tile work up high. Really nice, there's the shower head over on that side. And they've got little shelves built in there. Okay, there's a knob. That's a knob for the shower head. But we got two knobs. Interesting. It has a handle thing for it. I don't know. I lost my buyers. More shelves put built into uh, for the bathtub. Nice size water closet. And speaking of closets, check this bad boy out. It's huge. This thing just keeps going around. So 
you know, place for shelves all over the place here. And it goes all the way back into this little corner as well. Now I mentioned the laundry room, so we'll get to it later. This is, I mentioned every time I do a video and someone's done this, I love this sneaky need that more people should do is having access to your laundry room from your master bedroom closet. My guys are gonna have like this little wheeled cart where they can just kind of pull laundry right out of the dryer and wheel it on in and put it away. No need to carry stuff all around the house like you see in a lot of houses where the laundry room's on the other side of the house compared to where you're storing all of your laundry. But this is gonna be so neat. And the people on the other side of the house, well, they live on the other side of the house. They can come get their own laundry from here. But if you're in the owner's suite, you shouldn't have to go up that far. They're gonna have a sink built in, your washer and dryer set up right here. And like I said, a little door just to come put everything away. Real simple and easy. I love it. Coming back out of the bathroom. And then we open the door to the rest of the house when you're ready to present yourself to the day. Little coat closet for coming in. And then back to the main space. Love, love, loving this house. Can't wait to see the next stage of completion. All right, let's gonna wrap a tour of this house that's being built by Casa de Maine. This house is gonna be truly stunning once completed. And if you know anybody who's looking to either build in this area or buy pre-existing homes in this area, and you want them to, if they don't already have a realtor, please have them reach out to me by sharing this video with them. Have them get to know, like, and trust me. Well, hopefully they do. And uh, have them give me a call. Or they can click a link in the description box to set up a Zoom meeting with me. I'll be happy to do that. Uh, I'm starting to see more and more realtors kind of do things like that with these videos and I'm good on them but because there's enough work to go around but hey if you want to use me as a realtor I'm here to help as always hit that like button subscribe to my channel and of course share these videos with your friends and family all right take care now bye